Now today we'll be replacing the input or the main shaft speed sensor. That lives on the transmission right underneath the battery. So we're going to remove all of this. The flip side is you can also, on some vehicles, you can remove the splash guard. And if you need a guide on how to do that, I'll include a link in the description box below when we replace the exterior lights on this vehicle I showed on how to remove that. But that being said, let's just start the job, remove everything here, and get clear access to the transmission. Now if you don't know where the sensor lives on your vehicle, a couple things you can do. Number one, your best bet is probably a Google image search. Uh, doing so, a lot of times you can pick up diagrams rather quickly showing where the sensor lives. Option two is to purchase a repair manual specific for your vehicle. A lot of times you could purchase them off eBay, for example, a PDF file uh, for maybe five to 10 bucks. Option three is to visit a forum that deals just with your vehicle and there's always someone on there that just knows your specific vehicle inside and out. Now if you do have to replace the input or the main shaft speed sensor, typically you will have a whoop, wrong socket. A trouble code on the dash, or in other words, the check engine light, uh, hard shifting, and the cruise control may not work. Essentially the input and the output sensor that we showed a few days ago, they work in conjunction with one another and essentially they just allow the transmission to shift perfectly with the right ratio and so forth. But when one of them or both sensors go, you will notice for sure, but typically it's not too hard to replace. Now underneath the battery is the metal battery tray. So we have, that's a 10 millimeter fastener, two 10s, these are 12s, and then there's one sneaking on the side here and then we'll be able to remove this and get clear access to all the sensors, in fact. Now, if we look deep in the engine bay here, you see a number of different sensors, but like I was stating earlier, if you just look up what the part looks like, you can start to decipher what's right and not right. So looking at this guy down here, this doesn't look like the, the part that's a pressure switch. That doesn't look like it, but this guy right down here, that does look like the part. And there's just one fastener holding it on. So let's go ahead and remove that. These tend to be pretty, uh, could be sticky to remove because there's an O-ring in there that prevents any transmission fluid to leak out. So you'll probably need two hands to remove this. But right here where my thumb is, there's a tab for the harness connector. Press that down, push that back. Let me remove this. can remove it. Let's see. Yeah, it's a little tight. Let me grab both hands on here. Okay, with both hands I was able to wiggle this loose. And there's your old sensor. Now, once you have the new sensor, make sure it includes a new O-ring. This prevents any transmission fluid to leak out. Also on the opening of the transmission, make sure that no foreign debris falls into that hole of dirt. Uh, leaves, nothing like that at all. You want to make sure everything is nice and clean. Now when you tighten down this fastener, don't over tighten it because you don't want to crack the body. And there we go. Now we'll just reinstall everything and if you do have a check engine light, we'll go ahead and delete that. I'll show that at the end of the film.
then of course the very last step is to erase any engine codes you may have or trouble codes if you don't have a scan tool you can always go to your local auto parts store if you uh, looking to purchase one which is nice to have if you plan on doing your own auto repair I'll include this one that uh, I purchased off Amazon it can read trouble codes not only for the engine the transmission the airbags and the ABS so it's a nice system it's not too expensive but ultimately you would just go down to here and you would erase any codes in here and that's it so I'll just take it for a quick test drive make sure everything is okay and we're in good shape thank you for watching and we'll see you next time